he gets to basically do whatever he wants. Oh no way, that is actual ice cream. Look at that. How cool was that, guys? I was doing something very silly. Ooh. What's going on, dude? Promise, guys, you'll thumbs it up if I do this. Yeah. What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. Not live. From our home in London, Jojo just jumped and fell on the floor. How are you guys all doing? Let us know in the comments where you guys are coming live and not live from. You know the score, the hashtag live and not live. We love hearing from you guys. Share something that's made you feel really happy today. Mummy's down here on the floor. You getting involved in Jojo stuff. Yeah, we're building a nice track here. We'll get into that in a moment because a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments recently if we're doing any sort of meetups, if we're going to any events where you could potentially meet us. We're going to a few different events, but there's one that we definitely want to share with you and that is called the Vegan Kids Festival. I'll put a link in the description. There's still tickets left for this and you do not have to be vegan to go there. It's gonna be lots of stalls, events. It's a really fun, family-oriented event. Lots going on there. The only requirement is if you're a kid, you need an adult with you. If you're an adult, you need a kid with you. So if you don't have kids, find a kid. Bring a niece, a nephew, a grandchild. A friend's kid. We're gonna be doing a workshop there as well. Remember that. Yes, all about YouTube. So as you can see, JoJo's here. Today's video is all about you, isn't it? Yes. As you guys know, JoJo is homeschooled. A lot of you might be wondering, what do we do with regards to homeschooling around JoJo's birthday? Yeah, because it's quite interesting what happens with school, isn't it? Because a lot of people have to go to school on their birthday. So yeah. let us know your experiences, guys. Did you go to school on your birthday? Do you have anything special that happens? Or does your birthday always fall outside of school time and in the holidays? I'm very lucky because I never had to go to school on my birthday because it's in the Christmas holidays and I think we, we normally went back the day after yeah. or the day after that. So you always miss, so you, always, you were always off. Yeah, and you were always at school on your birthday. Yes. Yeah, so were you at school on your birthday or are you at school on your birthday? Well, see, like, I never knew what it was like being at school on my birthday. So Jojo doesn't have set time off school like other children do they'll get the summer holidays easter christmas half those, terms yeah those kind of holidays they'll have off school we're mostly always homeschooling jojo so what we tend to do is around jojo's birthday we do something called unschooling he will have his birthday and then for the two weeks after that we will do unschooling where he gets to leave up all of his decorations his cards everything and he gets to play with his presents and basically do whatever he wants he learns through play in that time and he really enjoys doing that doesn't he mm. it's kind of like a routine but with no routine yeah it's kind of not really a routine is it <laughs> no <laughs> So it's basically showing you a typical day in the life of what it's like for him around this time without any schooling. So it's like a day in the life of a homeschooled kid around their birthday it's routine, but without the homeschool routine. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, we thought it'd be really fun to show you guys what a typical homeschooling slash unschooling day would be like around Jojo's birthday. So this is what Jojo is doing at the moment. As you can see, this lovely Lego City train, which Jojo got for his birthday. You got Sam got you this, didn't he? Yeah. This has been the thing you've played with the most. Yep. Like I said, the learning through play, he had to do all of the instructions. There was a lot of technical stuff in there. There was some engineering stuff in there that he had to do. And you did it all on your own, basically, didn't you? Yeah. What did you do with your birthday money, Jojo? I bought more tracks so I could do this. Yeah, as you can see, there's quite a long track going around the room, guys. This was not all part of that set. Yeah, so you got some extra track and you've been making these ones that the train will go along with momentum. Yeah, just like a coaster. It's nearly going around half the room. Yeah. So this is one of the, the bottom bits of the train you've been doing it with. Yeah, it's one of the little roller bits at the bottom. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, run out of momentum. Yeah, okay. Mummy, that was your fault. It disappeared you behind it? your head. It, okay, uh, let me get out of the way. You need to give it a little push. Yeah, like that. There you go. Oh. How satisfying is that? So, free gang. I made like a little waiting system so this guy can go. Now oh, you've got two of them together now. What? Oh, what? What's, oh, what? That didn't really work. Oh, no, they go together. That did work. That's so cool. Oh, a nice cushioned landing, because normally they crash everywhere. Yeah. So you've made this train track. What do you want to do next? I want to make ice cream. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. 
How? With the present I got for my birthday. Oh, the frosty thing. It's the frosty, yeah. So this is a ice cream machine. Yeah. That you got for your birthday. So we're gonna make ice cream. So we've got all the stuff out. So we've got to put the machine together. Right, you read the instructions, see? In learning through play. That goes like that. What's this bit? It's a biscuit cruncher. Oh, it's a biscuit cruncher. Okay. I think that goes over there. Oh, we got cups to put the ice cream in. That's good. Yeah. So let's get started. Mix the ice cream ingredients in a bowl. 120 millilitres of cream. Okay. I've got this coconut cream. I hope that's good enough. Coconut cream there. 120 millilitres of milk. We got some soy milk. One teaspoon of sugar. Okay, we've got coconut sugar. A pinch of salt. Ooh, a pinch of salt. Pinch, mummy. There we go. We could add some vanilla, what do you think? Okay. Should we add that? So we have a chamber here, which somehow freezes the ingredients. This is the chamber. Right, what do we put in the chamber? We put 150 grams of salt. Yeah, that's 150 grams. 50 millimeters of hot tap water. There's hot water. And what's next? Ice cubes. Put some ice cubes in there, so we got to fill it up, yeah? I don't know what the hot water's for, Jojo. Do you, can you figure oh, out? I don't know. Maybe chemical reaction purpose? Ah, oh, maybe. Right, put the chamber back in there. We're just going to stir this. This is the uh, ice cream mixture. Mmm. <laughs> okay, I think what we have to do next is pour the mixture into this hole, okay? Do you think you can do that or do you want mummy to do it? I want an idea. Put it in the jug and then it's easier to pour it. Oh, dude. See? <laughs> can I trust you to pour that? I don't know why this just feels wrong. Pour it into some plastic thing, look all over that. That's what you do. Look, we're following the instructions. How many times do you get things wrong, wrong, Bob? And I say to you, have you read the instructions? And you say, no. That doesn't happen at all. It does happen. So it says, turn the handle clockwise, keep turning slowly for three to five minutes. Okay. So it cools down. Is that clockwise? Yeah, this is clockwise. Okay. Guys, I'm just gonna let you know, I have no idea what's going on here. I don't know how you can have stuff in a pot, turning it, and then other stuff on the outside. Can someone explain to me how this works? I don't know. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm That's... just trusting the process. I mean, here. it is magic. I think we should check the instructions about a cat coming and eating the other ingredients. Oh, you cheeky thing. She likes cream. So you're gonna turn it the other way now. Oh, we'll get a bowl ready. Oh, no way. That is actual ice cream. Look at that. That's a lot of it as well. You need a bigger bowl. It's very frozen, Jojo. It's super icy ice cream. Oh, I wish I have turned it for so long. Look how frozen this is. I did not expect it to be this frozen. Do you wanna try some? Uh, yeah, okay. What do you think? Uh, it's, that's all right. Let's try it. Mm. Oh, what about the biscuit sprinkle stuff? Oh yeah. Put so, the tub under, no, put the tub underneath. Oh yeah, you put it under there, okay, and then you go. There's bourbons in there, by the way. There we go. Oh, oh look that at that. That's super satisfying. Now we can taste, taste oh, no, it. No, 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 he's, he's got the sprinkles. 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 Oh, look at that freak again. That looks really cool, actually. Well done, guys. Yeah, do you want to try some? Mr. Frosty came through, I can't believe it. I think next time though, not to turn it so, for so long because it's frozen a bit too much, hasn't it? Well, we just let it defrost slightly, right? Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. What's it like with all the sprinkles on top? It's good. Oh, goody, thank you. I get some. Oh, this is softer as well. Hmm. Enjoying Jojo's unschooling routine, are we? But yes, this is all right. Yeah, it has to get soft. You have to leave it a minute to get soft and mm -hmm. then it's fine. Use that more often. Mm. The cat's loving it. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? What we got going on here, Jojo? Puzzle. <laughs> this has come along really well. This is one of your birthday presents, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Platform nine and three quarters sign. It, well, no, it's a ticket. Oh, it's a ticket? Yes. Oh, okay. Like, come on, like, mummy. London to Hogwarts for one way travel. Oh, I did not know that. So you've been doing this day by day, haven't you, since your birthday? Yeah. Just a little bit at a time. And we've joined in now and then. Yeah. I always did puzzles when I was a kid and I found them really good mental exercises. 
So when I come to it now, I've got this real ability to see pieces and just be able to figure out where they go straight away and just see everything getting built together. So I feel that this is something that can really help develop your intelligence. And I feel, I feel like for Jojo, it really develops his patience as well. Oh, completely. Do you want to show the free gang what you've done? How cool is this, man? Mm -hmm. This was 18 plus, so only adults should be able to build yeah. this. That's the expectation. Look at how thick this is. And there's some engineering components in here as well, isn't there? So you've got this bar here and it changes the wheels, doesn't it? To make yeah. them into hovercraft wheels. Yeah. And you can see there's all these complex cogs and everything to put together. So you understand why it's something which they expect an adult to only be able to do. Yeah. Also, the flux capacitor. Oh! In there. It's a little light, that's really cool. Also, we've got this little compartment in here where you can keep the case of plutonium and also keep the hoverboard. Does he do that as well in the film? He stores stuff in the front, doesn't he? How cute is that hoverboard? It's cute. On a scale of one to 10, compared to all of the different things you've built, like the Hogwarts castle and the Minecraft mountain and your guitar, how difficult was this, Jojo? On difficulty, it was maybe about 7.8. And also, look, you've got like the little Mr. Fusion thing with like a little can and the banana in there. This is basically what unschooling is, and some people do it all the time, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they do it straight away as soon as a kid comes out of school, if they've been in mainstream school. Yeah, I think the idea is to let the kid find their own way and let their brain recalibrate into operating and working in a way that they feel is right, what pace and what things they're interested in. And so I think they just let them be free. And, and, and children can really accelerate when they're unschooling mm. because they're not being told what to do. So they're figuring things out for themselves all yeah, the time. Yeah, and they're finding their passions in certain things then, aren't yeah. they? So for, I, just in case we didn't explain this earlier properly, unschooling is where you literally just follow what the child wants to do. They'll only read the books they want to read. They'll only write what they want to write. They'll literally just do whatever they yeah. want to do. No routine, no structure, no syllabus or anything like that. Yeah, and then just what we normally do is we have some structure, some routines and some book, uh, workbooks that he does every day. Somewhere in the like middle, that. isn't it, really? Yeah. So Jojo, you're doing your puzzle, but what do you want to do after that? Uh, what I want to do next, I want to make like those little, little bread cakes, the little bread rolls. The little bread rolls that we made the yeah. other day. Jojo, you're nearly as tall as me. What's going on? I don't know. What's going on, dude? Stop growing. Right, bread. This is going to help you grow even more. Why are we doing this? Here. Don't tell me to make a good joke. I don't think I'm ready for this. So Jojo was nagging me to start making bread again. I haven't made bread for so long. I felt a bit daunted by, the, by it. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. You weren't ready. Yeah, I wasn't ready to start like go all in because sometimes if you're making sourdough bread, it takes time. Well, bread just takes time in general. So I found a recipe that literally takes 10 minutes. You don't have to worry about yeast or anything like that. It's so easy. So we've been having it probably every day. Mm -hmm. These little bread rolls I've been making every day. And I've also... If we put too much of this in there, I'm sure we'll sort it out some way. We won't. If we put too much salt in there, we will not. No, okay? we'll, we'll sort it out. I got the joke. I was just, I was just acting like I hadn't heard it. Okay, Jojo, I'm gonna let you do it because look, I put all the ingredients there, so you can do it. Okay. So that's one cup of flour, half a cup of milk. Nice. A teaspoon of sugar. You don't need the sugar, okay? It's not 100% necessary. Yeah, this is one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a pinch of salt, Jojo. One and a quarter tablespoons of olive oil. That's a bit more than a quarter, it doesn't matter. I'm sure it'll be fine. Got some extra flour so that we can flour the sides, not to go in there, but to flour the sides. I love this part. Okay. So yep. satisfying to mix it. So far, this has taken about two minutes, okay? Looking nice, Jojo. So you just knead it for about a minute or so. So the dough's all like this. Right, sprinkle some flour on there, otherwise the dough will stick. That's a lot of flour on there. Yeah, I, I did a bit too much. Okay, let's scoop a little bit away. There we go. All right, I think that is ready. I like the way you roll, Jojo. Oh. oh! Now that's not Jojo's hands rolling. It's Katie that's taken over. What's going on? I couldn't help myself. I wanted to have a roll. Why didn't you roll like you were rolling a minute ago before we put the camera on? Remember how last last video I said that I toned things down? I'm actually really much sillier in real life. 
I was doing something very silly. I think the free game wants to see though. Come on, we're all waiting. They might thumbs down the video. They see me being that silly. I feel like they thumbs it up a lot more than they thumbs it down. Okay, promise guys you'll thumbs it up if I do this. Yes, sm smash a like for Katie. <laughs> was it that? I can't remember what I was doing now. <laughs> No, it was a bit uh, faster than that. Was it? Yeah, like... <laughs> no, look, I'm not doing any more. What we're going to do now, if you've got a non-stick pan, you don't actually need to do this, but Emily found this. It's just olive oil that you can spray. So, what happened there? <laughs> um, so you spray it. You only need a tiny bit. That's more but, of a bit of a tiny bit. Though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next part is we're going to cut some circles. You can actually use a cup or a glass or something if you haven't got one of these. Do you want to start, JJ? Yep. I'm liking the size of these already. That's so it. they're just going in the pan like that? Yep. And they will rise. They look so thin, but they're going to rise a bit. Cool. I look forward to eating these. Then I put the lid on and we set the timer for two minutes. Okay, they're all done. Well, look at that one. That's risen a bit strangely, that one. They smell so good. What tastes really nice is we discovered we put butter and jam on them. That's really nice. And also Jojo puts cheese and tomato on them. Or you can actually cut them open and have the cheese and tomato inside as well. You can make mini pizzas out of these as well. If you're someone that feels that making bread is just too much for them, then these like mini, I don't even know what to call them. They're not rolls. Flatbreads. They flatbreads, Jojo. Oh, yes. Yeah. I made you a nice cheese and tomato sandwich. Try it. Good. Mm. Perfect, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so this is normally part of your homeschooling routine anyway. We do In every fact, day, we? Yeah, every day, no matter what's going on, no matter where we are, you're always playing your guitar with daddy. Okay, why don't you guys play something and then the free gang can guess what song it is. Comment below for a game what song that is. I'd love to hear if you know that one. That means we've done a good job if you get it right. Yeah. And, and Jojo, can you play a little bit of the one you kind of wrote with Daddy? But obviously we haven't got, you haven't got words to it yet, but you know the one? The one with your own, you wrote the, your own song. Oh, and okay, then... okay, okay. Amazing. Comment below if you know that song because <laughs> it's something I made up. <laughs> They'll be really good if they got that. I basically wrote a song without any lyrics. I kind of wrote the music, started playing it one day, and Jojo just freestyled to it. And you remember what you do every time now, don't you? Yeah, I mean, this wasn't the, the first song we did. No, but the other one was just random jamming. Let us know in the comments below if they should make do the whole song because that was only a very small part of the song. I think you should make a video of it. It's so lovely, the whole song. What do you think, guys? I think they should. No. Oh, I see we're playing a bit of Minecraft, are we? Yeah. So this is what happens when you're in charge, eh? And you just choose what you do for homeschooling. <laughs> I'll be honest though, Free Games, we're not big on him playing computer games, but this one we do make an exception for. He plays it a bit, 
but we do find that it is quite ed educational for him. He uses his brain a lot in creating things. It's like a digital version of Lego in that sense. But he also learns a lot about the materials and what they're used for. He actually comes out of information and talking about different things which we've never heard of before. I'm assuming they're real. So yeah, it is beneficial to some extent, but it, you do like it as well though, don't you? Yeah. It's very serious business for him. So you had a good game there, right? Yeah. Do you want to share with the free game what you've done? I've completed my puzzle here. Hey! How satisfying does it feel to complete a puzzle? It felt so satisfying putting in the last piece. So you guys went, yes! Would you like to do more puzzles? Yeah. It They're is really, really good. So that's kind of really a basic day for Jojo. We're going to go out soon as well just for some exercise, but you know, we like going out anyway. Sometimes we do flip out or we go and climb trees, go for runs, walks, different yeah. things like that. And then you'll be probably doing some reading later. You've got those books for your birthday. You've done the second one already and yeah. you're on the third one now, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, so that's something you enjoy in general, isn't it? Yeah. So it goes to show free gang that left to the, his devices, and this is probably the same for most other kids as well, a lot of the stuff you do is still educational. Yeah. Isn't it? And there's lots of learning and all different things that you do, and there's lots of benefits that you get from the different things you play and interact yeah. with. Let me just stress it really does vary when Jojo chooses what he's doing each day because one day it might be building something or playing with something or, or we might actually choose to do like a workbook and some maths problems and things like that so mm -hmm. it varies so that is where we're going to end today's video i hope you guys found this an interesting video let us know in the comments below what you thought but that's where we're going to say goodbye and we will see you all in the next video and just remember though guys no matter what happens in the world you guys always stay free and just keep rising <laughs>